I'm Melissa with New South Table. Thank you for joining me and God bless you all. It's no secret that Southerners love some fried foods. Well, today it's all about pan fried okra. Fried okra takes me back to a time when our summer garden was producing in huge quantities and whatever came off in the garden that day is what we had for supper that night. My mama made okra a number of different ways. She cooked it deep fried or what we're going to do today, which is pan fried. She stewed it, um, boiled it, we pickled it, you name it, we did it with okra. One of my favorite ways to eat okra is in vegetable soup, and we'll talk about that at another time. But today it's about pan frying. And this is different from deep frying okra. The individual pieces of okra when you deep fry it is typically covered in some type of coating, whether it's flour or cornmeal and it has a binder like eggs or milk or whatever that's holding that on. Well, pan frying the way my mama taught me to pan fry was a bit different in the sense that there's very little flour involved in this technique. It's seasoned well, it has a tad bit of flour in it, and it just gets this wonderful caramelized coating on the outside of it that is absolutely delicious and it just brings out the sweetness of the vegetable when it's fried that way. I'm using frozen okra for this recipe because not everyone has a garden. You know, I live out in the country, we have a garden every year, and we have access to it, but I understand not everyone has that. So I'm using frozen okra for this demonstration so you can see how easy it is to substitute. Frozen. As far as the oil is concerned, you can use whatever oil you like. When I was growing up, my mama used lard or vegetable oil or just it could have even been drippings from meat that she had cooked. It just depended on what she had available at that time. I'm using olive oil today. That's just my preferred oil of choice with this particular method. So you choose whatever oil you like and it will be just fine. Begin with one 28 ounce bag of frozen okra. Next, you'll add one teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of pepper, and one tablespoon of self-rising flour. You'll toss this to combine. Make sure the flour coats the okra. You don't want a thick coating of flour on the okra. Add enough olive oil to slightly cover the bottom of a cast iron skillet. When the oil is heated, add the okra and top with one additional tablespoon of flour. We like ours heavy on the black pepper, so we add more pepper here. You can do the same if you'd like, but it's definitely not necessary. 
place a lid on the skillet and cook on medium heat for about eight to nine minutes without disturbing. Remove the lid and check to see if it is browning on the bottom. If it is, gently turn over the okra in small sections. Try not to stir the okra because it will fall apart and get very slimy. Now we'll leave the lid off for the remainder of the cooking process. Continue cooking, checking it every three to four minutes. Just remember, don't stir it too much. Just flip it over in small sections as it browns and it caramelizes. You'll continue to do this until you have your desired amount of caramelization. That's totally up to you.